So my Celepathy series is still one of my most popular ones on YouTube, and I get questions all the time. People want to know how they break a telepathic connection, or perhaps how to stop or prevent telepathy. So there are three things I'm going to address in this video. The first one is how to break a specific telepathic connection with a person. The second one is how to stop hearing other people's thoughts. And the third one is to how to stop projecting your thoughts. If you want to break a telepathic connection with a person, doing a cut and clear magical working could be very beneficial. I personally did not do that. So here is what I did to break a telepathic connection. First and foremost, you need to realize that you have the telepathic connection because you are empathically vulnerable to this person. You care about them and you care about what they are thinking. Empathy can bring us into this watery state where we kind of all exist as one, so to speak. So you need to get things more clear and more organized in order to break the telepathic connection. So you need to connect more with yourself because that is your frame for organization mentally and psychologically. It's being connected with yourself. So I want you to take two pages of a notebook. On one page, you are going to write down what you personally want. You may need to revert back to previous memories of what you wanted based on who you were before this telepathic connection started to run amok in your life. On the second page, I want you to specify the things that you do not want. And it may specifically be things that this other person wanted you to be concerned with, because that's why you're breaking the telepathic connection, right? Fill that page as best as you can with a list of things that you don't want. Now, whenever you start to struggle with the telepathy, telepathic connection. I couldn't decide whether to say tele telepathy. You know what I mean. But whenever you struggle with it again, revert back to what you wrote in the notebook and read over it. Now, to stop hearing people's thoughts, you need to find a way to ground yourself. You may be able to do this by strengthening your root chakra through Reiki, through Kundalini Yoga, um, or perhaps daily activities. You also need to come up with protection, which can also come through some type of yoga, meditation, prayer, or spell work. And you're going to have to work on the boundaries in your own life and find a way to close yourself off to other people and their desires. For starters, you can imagine a white light all around you as a protective barrier. Finally, to stop projecting your thoughts, you need to find a way to quiet your mind and deal with your inner desires.